Just uh, that breaking news I was just mentioning, RT contributor Graham Phillips says the Ukrainian military has let him go within the last hour. Phillips had been missing for three days in eastern Ukraine. Earlier today, there was a report from the Rear Novosti News Agency saying Ukraine's security services had arrested him. Rina Galushka has got more to tell us. It's been fast moving, fast developing this story, but overall it seems to be good news as far as Graham Phillips is concerned, yeah? Yes, it does uh, seem to be good news. Uh, first and foremost, as I'm reading his tw Twitter right now, apparently he is uh, um, he, he says that he hasn't been beaten. He has, uh, in fact, been uh, uh, essentially kicked out of Ukraine. Mm. He's in Poland right now. He's trying to get a uh, connection as soon as possible so, so he can join us on air and tell us about uh, his ordeal uh, himself. Now, he's also saying that, in fact, he has been arrested by uh, the Ukrainian army. Uh, this comes uh, on the heels of the announcement that was first made uh, by a Ukrainian news agency. Then, uh, Russia's uh, RIA Novosti has gotten official confirmation from uh, the uh, security services of Ukraine. We still haven't gotten it. Mm. And in fact, it's, earlier... Uh, re rewinding it back 24 hours, exactly. the security service says, quote, they do not uh, capture or contain or protect depending on what you want to exactly. call it. Exactly. Journalists, I, that doesn't seem to be the case, no? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, of, of course, there is one caveat which uh, we'll have to... Uh which we will have to consider is whether or not we're talking about the actual military or the National Guard or the security services. Right. Because there is virtual anarchy going on in Ukraine at uh, the moment. But let's have a listen to what the security service were telling us about 24 hours ago. I know he's been taken hostage. There's no information on his whereabouts or whether there's a bounty on his head. The Ukrainian military don't apprehend journalists. All right, let's wind the clock back then, uh, 24, 48 hours. Mm -hmm. What led to Graham's disappearance? Well, he decided on his own accord to go filming at the Donetsk airport, the scene of some of the most intense fighting that's been happening for the last several weeks, you can say. It's been especially intense over the past couple of days, or I should say the beginning of the week. Um, so Graham and several other journalists went over to the airport. RT has warned him not to go. Uh, he was adamant about going, so he sent a text message to RT's office saying that he made it there okay, and that was around 2 o'clock in the morning. That was the last that we've heard from him until right about now. Uh, him, along with another person, a cameraman for Ukraine's and a news agency, were detained apparently. And uh, it does look, according to Graham, that uh, he was not beaten, uh, mm. but the uh, cameraman, Vadim Aksonov, indeed was. And this is what Vadim Aksonov has actually told RT prior to uh, Graham. We were near the Nietzsche airport. He ran to film a group of men. I followed him. And that's when we were ambushed. They put bags over our heads, but before I noticed it was the Ukrainian military, judging by their insignia. We were put in a car and driven somewhere. First they put us in a kind of cell together, but we were later separated. They started torturing us, beating. I heard Graham screaming, and I was screaming too. It was horrible. I heard they told Graham they were taking him to western Ukraine or to Kiev. Then they left me outside Donetsk. Now, just to point out to our viewers at home, uh, the, the, the status of Graham, he's not employed by us, he's a freelance he's journalist, a freelance, what they call exactly. a stringer in the trade. He works for us, he works for other people as well. Begs the question, what did he do wrong in, in the Ukrainians' eyes here to be taken under protective custody? That's what they were calling it yesterday. Absolutely. In fact, they didn't only take him into custody. According to Graham, they have uh, hacked his Facebook and, and uh, uh, Contacti accounts. Contact is a really popular Russian website. It's mm. also a social media network. Uh, they have deleted every single file on his computer. Graham is also saying that Ukrainian military have taken his uh, vehicle. Uh, Why? But apparent, according to Graham, it is because he has been working with RT or for RT. That's the main reason. He has been banned from entering Ukraine for three years. He's also saying that there's been a lot of questions about the Donetsk People's Republic and his affiliation therein. So essentially, it does look, it's basically stemming from Graham's being in the Donetsk region and uh, working for RT. But it's not the first time he's been in trouble with the Ukrainian absolutely, uh, authorities, absolutely is it? Absolutely not. In fact, in May, he was detained by a National Guard and then transferred over to SBU, Ukraine Security Services, uh, when he was merely passing a checkpoint in uh, the southeast of Ukraine. He was detained and held for 36 hours. Uh, he was also evicted from the country back then. Uh, was a uh, and again, was the reason uh, basically because they didn't like him reporting back for RT? Absolutely, yes. And they also had issues about him having uh, his uh, flak jacket, something that you absolutely have to have in that mm. region if you want to get your job done properly and you want to survive in the process. 
OK, well, thanks for the update. We're hoping uh, maybe to get a hold of Graham a little bit later. We'll let you get back to um, uh, the latest here. We're expecting some more developments for the night, aren't we? All right, Rena, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.